Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten a new party member, uh, Leliana, who is apparently a Rogan Bard. And uh, we have been spending, well, we had spent the last couple minutes of the last episode... Uh, unlocking all the chests that we had available to us because now we have someone who will do it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. We learned that she used to be a sister, or at least a lay sister, of the uh, Chantry. But she's decided, because she has been spoken to by the Maker himself, that she has to follow me in my quest to end the Darkspawn Blight. I will roll with it. Because she wants to help, and she is driven, and there's probably no way I can convince her otherwise. So, we're gonna take it. Overly religious person, crazy, uh, witch of the wilds, daughter, and a former Templar. Great party. <laughs> On top of the, uh, orphaned, uh, noble who now has to uh, fight off the Blight, because that's really the only thing uh, left to him other than revenge, which he will get very soon. So, uh, yeah, that's how that's how life has turned out thus far. Uh, we're also possibly going to get a Kunari uh, joining us if we talk to the Revered Mother, who we are standing right in front of. Hopefully, this will uh, go well. And if it doesn't, Fuck. <laughs> I really want to have Sten join us. Because he seems like quite a character. Good day, Sister Liliana. Oh! I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. Is there something I can do for you, then? Uh, I want to talk about Sten, the Kunari you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Quite honestly, uh, what did, is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. Murderers? I was thinking you might release him into my custody. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, oh. the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Did I just find a hidden wombo combo in that combination of getting Liliana and then talking to the revered mother? Did I just do that completely on accident? I think I did that completely on accident. <laughs> um, well, good thing I did the thing then, huh? <laughs> wow, I got lucky as shit. All right, okay. I, I can't complain. I cannot complain. That is the best way that could have turned out. Also, what the fuck am I... What the fuck effects am I being hit with right now? On my person? Uh, dual striking song of... Oh, the song of valor because I have Liliana. She's a bard. What is this, anyway? Bonus to mana regeneration or stamina regeneration. Oh! So it helps with regeneration during combat. Cool. Okay. All right. Bonus to attack and melee critical chance. Penalty to attack speed. And this is bonus to damage. Can't cause regular critical hits or backstabs. Wait. So does this just cancel out the other one? It does cancel out precise striking, doesn't it? Son of a bitch! 
mean, at least I get the... At least I get a bonus to attack. So, at least there's that, but it doesn't help with critical chance. So, what's... Okay. So I cannot inflict regular critical hits. But they cause more damage. And they... Make sure that they hit. So I'm not always missing. Is that... Is that all I get out of that? Because that sucks. So, <sighs> momentum is sustained. Okay. Carry one attack through to the next, increasing attack speed. So I would be, I'm, mm, I don't know. Is it even worth it? I, mm, I don't know. These are activated things anyway. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think I did a goof. <laughs> I think I did a goof, guys. I guess I'll find out when I find out. But, uh... Is there, is there more stuff I can do now? Is there more stuff? Nope. I've done all the quests available to me. I guess that's okay. Sure. Let's talk about your mother for a moment. I'd rather talk about your mother. I'm sure you would. Talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. A little, yeah. To you, perhaps, you would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. Mm -hmm. You know what's more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> How about you two just calm it down a little bit? Eh? Just calm it? Just the slightest bit? That'd be, that'd be great. That'd be fucking great. I almost feel like there's no point in having this on. So for right now, I'm going to turn that off. At least until I get more uh, stamina to make it worthwhile to have it on. Let's talk to Stan. There's something more of me. Uh, I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the blight. Uh, and if I choose to do something else with you? Okay. All right. Uh, how can you help us exactly? I have spent my life in the vanguard. I know war. And your lands need all the help they can get. All right, I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. One can hope. And if you annoy me and I decide to kill you, wow, that's fucked up. Uh, and what if I don't lead you to your atonement? Then I will find it myself. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. I'm sure you are. Considering you have been in a cage for as long as you have been. Um, I guess we'll remove Alistair and add Sten. Yes. At least for now. Just kind of because I want to see how Sten goes. I, I mean, I... I do dislike leaving uh, Alistair behind, but I mean... With me included, there's a lot of warrior energy going on here. So, I'm not entirely sure 
what I want to do with all of that. I guess I'll see how his uh, armor and weapons go. Or rather, his stats. I should absolutely stop hitting the wrong fucking button. Um, poisonous proposition. Oh, am I completed? Didn't want it to be uncompleted. Uh, current quests and DLC stuff. That's a whole different thing. Uh, I guess I'll have to go work on that. I'm now pretty much finished with Lothering. Woo! Did it. Okay. So let's see what I can equip with Sten. He is purely combat training. All right. He is pure war. He is also apparently a tank. Very much a tank. And two-handed tank to boot. All right. Hmm. Learn to wield two-handed weapons more effectively, reducing penalties to attack and defense from powerful swings. Okay. You can use that without very high penalties. He has Mighty Blow, Sunder Arms, Hommel Strike, and Indomitable. Through sheer force of will, the character remains in control on the battlefield, gaining a slight increase to attack damage while being immune to stun or knockdown effects for the duration of this mode. Huh. All right. So he is very tanky with a two-handed weapon. That's an odd choice. And he is not equipped with fuck all. But he can wear heavy chainmail, which I currently can't right now. Well, I mean, I can, just... Not now. <laughs> Eventually I can. Well, I guess since he can wear it, might as well. Hello. That's a look. All right. Um, let's put a weapon on him, which obviously we're going to go with the greatsword since he's two-hander. Uh, don't see much else that I need to equip him with. Inspect. Yeah, there's not, not else. Not else that I need to get. My brain is trying to say not else and not else at the same time. Because brain is broken. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go to tactics. There we go. Um, activate powerful swings. Um, wait, that was a sustained thing, right? Um, okay, someone's pounding up and down the stairs. Huh. Uh, hmm. Not sure what to think. I cannot do that. What do you mean you cannot do that? Um. Maybe I'm misunderstanding how that whole thing sets up. Um, let's see. Powerful swings is sustained. Okay. And then indomitable is sustained. Okay. Huh. 
He doesn't have a lot of room for much else. At least not yet. Huh. That's... A lot of this is not working out the way I hoped. <laughs> I'll admit. But uh, I should be able to make it work. I mean, if I can make him defender, that works. Sure. There we are. Let him regenerate that. Okay. Um, I guess I just gotta leave now. Because there's not much else that's keeping me here. Uh, wait. It strikes me that there was chests near the bandits who I took out originally. That I completely forgot about. Entirely. That's not a good thing for me to forget. Considering, you know. They probably have worthwhile stuff. In them. Alrighty. Onward I go. To try and get that stuff. Usually, uh, this bridge causes them to talk to each other. I guess this particular makeup doesn't allow for anyone to talk to each other. I guess it's only when I have, uh, Alistair and Morrigan together that they... Start shit-talking each other. That's it. Hmm. I could swear there was other chests, wasn't there? Wait, wait. I unlocked that with the guy's key. That's right. I'm stupid. Okay. Oh, boy. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm very fucking dumb. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, shall we? I think there's no reason to stay here for much longer. Um, I've done most everything here, and it's just, finish these. I wonder where we should go next, because, I mean, we've visited Lothring. There's much, there's not much else to do, I think. Unless this is a hub city of some kind, I'm just not aware. I should sell some of my stuff, though. To that merchant guy. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Nah, I'm looking to sell though. All right, just don't buy everything up. Not planning on it. It's not yet. Um, dwarven war axe. Darmisu. Um. Hmm. Iron Bark is tier 5. Uh, she does not have the dexterity for it, it looks like. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, let's sell the daggers. Because I don't need them. I don't need this. Don't need that, I don't think. Um, I don't need this. Whoopsie doodle. That's not what I meant to hit. Um, Is this better than what I'm currently wearing? Uh, no. What Sten's wearing is very, very good. Um, it's better than what I'm currently wearing. No? It's pretty much on par. 
Okay, with scale, it's a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks. And with chainmail, the talents and spells cost less to activate. If anything, I can go for a higher level of chainmail, but I don't have the strength for it yet. Um, with that in mind, there's almost no point in... Huh. I mean, the helmet's probably a good thing to go after. No, actually, the uh, Kunari Thickened Cap is better. Really. Um, yeah. yeah I have n no idea what else to uh, get other than that. All right. So I just sold off some of my stuff, and that's it. I move on. Just so I have more inventory space for other things I shall eventually pick up. Because God knows that's going to be a lot at some juncture. My, uh, my forearms are giving me some grief, tell you what. Ooh, boy, I should exercise these more often, because I think I'm starting to get carpal tunnel or something. Yeesh. All right, out we go. The Banorn. Okay, right before I head out, just load it. Okay, that's weird. The most powerful foe slain is still an ogre. Um... dreams huh it seems so real well it is real sort of you see part of being a gray warden is being able to hear the dark spawn okay. that's what your dream was hearing them the arch demon it talks to the horde and we feel it just as they do that's why we know this is really a blight why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes oh, a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Any other surprises I shouldn't know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, great, you're up thank now, you. Right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. All right, good to know. Oh, enchantment. Wait, what? I can. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service once again. I saw your camp okay. and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a grey warden? I'm perfectly okay. willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? A little? Have you been following us? I can see why you might be suspicious, being a grey warden and all. Were I in your shoes, I would feel the same way. Trust me okay, so I you understand. Good. Encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. Fair enough. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. 
And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Fair enough. Uh, then let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Good to hear. Okay, that is really spendy. Holy hell, that better be good. Tier 7, Dragonbone. Okay, it's very good. Uh, 31 strength. Wow, I would not be able to equip that. Like, ever. Plus 2 strength. Okay. Uh, plus 5 melee critical chance. Plus 2 stamina regeneration. Plus 10 critical backstab damage. Plus 2 nature damage. Oh. And 3 slots for more. Although the elves of the Dales, assuming that's Dales, of the Dales fought bravely against the Exalted March, defeat became obvious. The great elven general Rajmail hurled this axe at the enemy before leaping to his death over Forlorn Falls. Huh. Fair enough. Oh. Proving Helm. Not as strong as my current. This is pretty strong. Conspirator's foil of inscribed leather. A tier above, something I can still equip. And higher armor and mental resistance. Huh. A thin layer of lyrium alloy under leather, insulated against attack and, one would hope, the lyrium itself instills a general wariness that may be confused with paranoia by the untrustworthy. I can buy it, but I'm not sure I want to yet. Collective arming cowl. Restricted to mage. Morgan isn't wearing anything. Identified by a simple runic pattern on the inverse, this cowl was commissioned by a group of mages who improved the perception of magic by making problems disappear before the Chantry gets involved. Hmm. Black Metal Torque. would be something for Piff, wouldn't it? Yes, it would be. The one I currently have equipped is for Constitution. A primitive lyrium-infused metal braid, hammered flat, possibly created by the cha uh, chastened, rather... I need to remember to pronounce that correctly. Or one of the splinter groups that spread across what would become Ferelden following their destruction. Ooh. Okay, well, um, six attack and six armor would be kind of good. Better than the constitution one. Hmm. Uh... You seem to be... Huh. They seem to kind of defeat the purpose of, uh... Having a set bonus. Some of these ones. So, it almost feels like it's not worth getting them. However, the Conspirator's Foil is stronger than my current hat... It's something I can wear. Sure, why not? Oh. I cannot equip this on this character. Huh. Oh. I'm on Pith. That's why. <laughs> that explains it. Okay. Spell word has added willpower, health regeneration while exploring, spell resistance, chance to dodge attacks, chance to avoid missile attacks. That is pretty strong, however, costs way too much, I can't buy it. Okay, the Warden's Oath, still pretty good.
The Dalish Hunter's Belt adds stamina regeneration in combat. And I don't have anything equipped. Oh. Wait, what? It says I don't have enough money for it, but I do? Um. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> All right. Um, Longbowman's Belt increases monetary gain. Is that just something I can throw on anyone? Because I might do that. Especially since it's rather cheap. Ember. Hailstone. Okay. I might buy both of these just so I can equip them on people that I intend on having in my party at all times. Uh... You have a lot of flasks. That's good to know. Um, I do have a journeyman lightning rune. You can upgrade weapons by enchanting them with runes. Journeyman Dwemer rune. Huh. Oh, this is the... This is the stuff that I can put in those slots on the weapon. That's what those blank slots were. I, th I thought there were just a texture that wasn't loading in. That's an empty spot that I can put runes in. Oh. Oh. An expert lightning rune would be plus three. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Cool, cool to know. Also, I can't buy this. I should have waited. I should have waited. I could have bought it. Uh, unless I can sell enough to... Probably not. I cannot. I have a feeling I cannot. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. When I mean to do other things. Because I'm stupid. Alright. Um... Whoops, I meant to go to this and equip that, which is slightly better. Um, maybe I can put this on someone else. Uh, she cannot wear that. She could maybe wear this. Would that work for him? I don't know. Because I don't want to cover that pretty hair of hers. He can wear it. Awesome. It also makes sense because he's a Kunari. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. Uh, I am equipped with about the best I can equip on myself. Um, yeah. Equip that on me. Uh, I probably will keep... Leliana on me at all times. Or maybe I might do Sten. I might do Sten. Honestly, I might keep Sten with me because he seems to be the most tanky oriented. Seems like it's a good idea to me. Okay. All right. and so, of course, she's far and away from the rest of the party. Because why would she join up with us when she can just be on her own and be, you know, little miss too good for us? Alright, anyway. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I shall talk to all of them in the next episode. And, uh, we'll see what comes of that. Since we're on our own little camp area now. But, uh, for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to uh, get our way to the next thing. Which apparently we finished uh, 
the last thing we really needed to do in Lothring, and at this point I've just been doing a lot of inventory management and uh, figuring out what I can upgrade or whatnot, because the upgrade system is kind of a little weird in this game. I'll admit, I don't think I fully understand it. I might get it soon, but I think it'll take me a little time for you.